dear friends, welcome to our channel organized by Darcy. Today, we're in part three of the four part series, Spring into Clean 2021. Today, I'll be doing my closet. Come with me, let me show you as I refresh my closet. Welcome to our closet. Approximately four and a half years ago, I did one of my very first videos on closet organization. And at that time, I was brand new on YouTube, but I watched a lot of videos on organizational ideas and thought I would get my closet organized. And I did. And since then, I've done a couple more videos. What I'd like to go over with you today is what my, this is what my closet looks like now. I haven't really cleaned it out. I'm going to be spending the next 30 minutes trying to organize this closet. And you'll say, Darcy, your closet doesn't look disorganized. And I have to admit, it doesn't look that disorganized. But there are tips that I have followed over the last four and a half years that have really helped me to maintain a clean and organized closet. So I'm going to be sharing that with you, but I also want you to know that um, it looks like this because it's easy to maintain. It's much more easier for me to keep this closet the way it is than when it's messed up. And so I've been able to, based on the tips that I'm going to be sharing with you today. So let me go over the tips in just a few more seconds. Before I start the tips, let me mention that this video is in collaboration with several other YouTubers hosted by Denise Jordan from the channel, This and That with Denise Jordan. So a big thank you to Denise for hosting this collab. Now let's get on to the tips. I'm going to be sharing five tips today to maintain a clean and organized closet. But if I were just to give one tip, it would be to use matching hangers. What I have done in our closet is I used all the white hangers for my um, side of the closet. And then on my husband's side, I used the black hangers. In addition to the white hangers on my side, I do have some wood hangers that I use for the heavier items. And my husband has wood hangers on that. But, but for the most part, the white hangers are mine. The wood hangers are for the sweaters or the heavy bulky items. And then the black hangers are on my husband's side. So my second tip is to sort by color. And when I started at first, and I still do, I sort from light to dark. So I have my white shirts, white sweaters, and then I go to the darker colors the reds and then to the black. And so I do from light to dark on these items. When my granddaughter was helping me though, she gave me the idea to do them in rainbow colors. So she started to do the rainbow colors for me and it worked for a little while, but I have to be honest with you, I'm not so much into the rainbow colors. I'd rather just do light to dark. So she had me do the reds, the orange, the yellow, green, blue, and purple. That's the rainbow colors. And I guess that's the way the six-year-old knows how to dress her closet. I started that, but we never finished it. So I'm just doing from light to dark. So that's one area that I can improve on in this closet. Going back to tip number one, which is to have all the hangers the same colors, what I did, because I didn't have enough white hangers, I got some gray hangers that I use for my dresses. So all my dresses are on um, gray hangers. My blouses and are on the white hangers. And then some of my pants or the jeans are on gray hangers as well. So this little area here has 
my dresses that are on a different type of hangers, but if you notice, they're all the same color hangers. These are the heavier, the bulkier items that are on the heavy hangers here. Also, these are some other heavy items on the bulkier hangers as well. My third tip is to have a little boutique area and it doesn't have to be anything big. I need to reorganize this area. This is where I keep um, like some of my costume jewelry, but I also have little pictures here that I keep um, on a shelf. I have my purse set out nicely, but it's it's an area that um, looks pretty when I walk in. This needs to be organized. So this is one area I'm going to be working on, but this is what the little boutique area looks like in my closet. And speaking about organizing your purses, what I um, have here in this side of the closet, I use a pot holder to put all my little purses on. So this shelf has um, my little clutches, but it also has some regular purses. And I just put the little clutches on pot holders from the kitchen. So um, that's an idea that I thought um, would be um, interesting keeps them upright and makes them look um, kind of presentable in the closet here as well. So my fourth tip is to have a basket or just any type of container to put your donated items in. So I have these two containers up here that I throw things in whenever um, I have an item or items that I no longer um, wear or like. I just put it in here and when I have enough to take to the store, I just take it to Goodwill and donate that. So that's just our donation basket here. So my very last tip is to think outside the box. This is a chest of drawer that we have here in our closet. And if you notice, these containers up here, I have several of these that I purchased at the 99 cent store. And what I did was I used them in the drawers here to keep like our t-shirts or anything that um, we need organized. And it fits so nicely because the three of these hold in the container in this drawer here. So I have three, I have different colors, of course. Um, this is the red. I have three, six, nine, 12, 15, at least 15 of these in this cabinet here that are just items. And this is something just cost a dollar. And here they are. I use them to store all our small items here in our drawers. My bonus tip is to have the proper lighting in your closet. Now, I didn't share that as one of the five because I honestly don't have the proper light in here in my closet. But I think it's important that we have um, the proper light in, in, especially in our closet because it makes our clothes look so much better. So these are my five tips. This is my area that I'm going to be cleaning. And like I mentioned earlier, you're going to say it doesn't require much. And when I'm finished, it probably won't look much different. But quite honestly, this is the way it's kept because it's so much easier to keep a neat and organized closet as opposed to a messy one. Once we take our clothes off, we hang them up or we put them into the clothes basket for the laundry or wherever. But at no point do we just throw our things in. Everything has a hanger, everything has a home, every item gets put back in its home whether it's the colored um, the white for myself or the black hangers for my husband or the gray hangers for my dresses and, and pants or the big hangers for um, our coats and or um, sweaters and jackets.
I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to go over to the other channels. I'll have in the description box below a list of all the participants as well as the playlist. Please watch the various videos, subscribe to the channels that you like, and of course, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel as well. Again, I look forward to seeing you next week. Next week is our final week in this Spring to Clean 2021 series, and I really look forward to next week. I hope you do. I'll see you then. Goodbye, and of course, good luck.